Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out for a walk in the London borough of Harrow, just walking up Cannon Lane. We are going to a miniature railway, but right now we're going up over a slope, over the Metropolitan Line's Uxbridge Branch, also carries Piccadilly Line train. So we come into this rather cage-like separate pedestrian bridge over the railway. Through the trees over there is Roxbourne Park, which is where we're going to, but if you can just see through the mesh, here's the railway line. So up there is Rainers Lane Station. It's the junction where the Metropolitan Line trains turn left to join the Metropolitan Main Line at Harrow on the Hill, and the Piccadilly Line trains turn right, head down through Alperton to join the rest of the Piccadilly Line network. Rainers Lane, there was nothing there. It's just when they opened the railway, they named it after a local farmer, Mr. Rainer. So this is back onto Cannon Lane, which um, only really goes to a school and um, Roxbourne Park. So the park's down there. Now in Roxbourne Park is the Harrow and Wembley Model Engineering Society's Miniature Railway. The Society's been around since 1936. The railway's been at its current location since 1976. So we're going to go and have a ride on that railway. But first we've got a bit of a walk through the park. So what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to be on the other side of that fence. We'll walk along beside the railway and um, we'll find our way from um, Standard Gauge Metropolitan Line to the miniature railway. So we just saw a free car Piccadilly line train heading for Uxbridge. It must have been on railhead treatment duties because there are nearly always six cars. To get to the railway, you've got that avenue of London Plains. But what we're going to do is we're going to follow this path along here beside the railway for a short distance because there's something down here I would like to show you. As I said, Rainers Lane Station is in that direction, but this park is called Roxbourne Park and there is a river called the River Roxbourne. And down in that corner over there is a river, so you'd naturally think it must be the River Roxbourne. But it's not, it's the Edding Brook. The River Roxbourne is about half a mile that way. So I'm not quite sure why they called it after the river that doesn't flow through the park, but that's what they did. So as the railway goes off that way, there'll be a bridge or a culvert just down there under the river. I'm gonna cut across the grass over here. We're gonna go and find the Edding Brook itself because um, it seems we might as well feature the river that flow through the park now. I'm gonna walk off in that direction over towards the railway. So right now, I'm in the London borough of Harrow, but the railway itself is in the London borough of Hillingdon. So this park's actually in two boroughs. The vast majority of the park is in Harrow, which is that corner where the railway is, which is in Hillingdon. So as we come down here, behind the Children's Park, that's where the entrance is if you were to come here by a train from Rainers Lane. It, it's interestingly, Rainers Lane, there was nothing there before the railway, it was just the junction of where the Metropolitan Piccadilly Lines join or split, whichever way you're travelling, and they named it after a local farmer, Mr. Rainer. So what we're going to do, you can hear a train, let's watch that train, Metropolitan Line S-stop train. I always thought it was something nice, no matter where you are, you know, when you're in a park and a train goes past, even more when you're in a city like London and, um, you know, you've got trains passing through, it's this sort of green area in the middle of an urban area. So we come down here, this is the bridge over the river, the River Roxbourne, not the River Roxbourne, the Yedding Brook, as I've said, the River Roxbourne doesn't actually flow through Roxbourne Park. Um, and then that way goes to Rains Lane Station, so if you come by train, that's the way I would suggest coming to the park. There's the river down there. What I'm going to do now is follow this rather pleasant path down here. See, it says Roxbourne Park. I'm going to follow this rather pleasant path down beside the river, and that will take us to where the railway is. So I'm just going to walk through the autumn leaves and beside the river up to the railway. So this woodland path comes to an end. Still following the Edding Brook down there, come out into another one of the many open spaces of Roxbourne Park. I still need to get to the other side of the river, so somewhere up here there must be a bridge. And then, um, like I say, across the bridge, 
and we should go to the railway, which I'm quite excited about. I have been to this railway a couple of times um, over the years. I remember coming here as a child, not long after it had been featured on the BBC Children's Programme Play Days, where they used to go to different um, places. I remember first seeing it on there, and we looked at the end and said, Harren Wembley Miniature Railway. So we're like, oh, okay, perhaps we should go there. So my parents did take me there. You might just be able to hear the wind's not blowing it out. I can hear whistles of steam engines. So that's exciting. We know we're going to get some steam, um, which is always good at Miniature Railways. So I think, can't be too far now. Admittedly, I've not actually, I have been, as I said, I've been here before. I've not been this way to the railway before. So it's a explore as I make the video kind of job. Right, so um, it's got to be this way. If this is the Yedding Brook below us, which it looks, yeah, it's quite a built up bridge, but yeah, there, that's the Yedding Brook. So as I keep saying, um, yeah, you can see the water nicely down there. I keep saying the Yedding Brook flows through Roxbourne Park and there's the River Roxbourne. So why is it not called the Yedding Brookside Park? I don't know. Um, okay, right, I think we're nearly there now. It's a very pleasant, quiet park for Greater London. I, don't, I bet you ask a lot of people from London, have you heard of Roxbourne Park? They'll probably say no. Um, it's a shame, because it's a nice place. Right, uh, where is this rail? I'm going to keep going until we find it. I'm now just crossing the final piece of grassland area of the park before we come to the Miniature Railway. Getting Brook somewhere down there in the trees. The Miniature Railway is just over here. So um, let's go and have our autumnal trip around it. I can actually hear a train already. So uh, what, what are we going to hear that? Diesel loco of some kind. Uh, what have we got out here? So the track is literally the other side of this fence. Does quite a nice little circuit. Oh, can you... Just saw a train go in front of me. It's a nice little circuit they've got here. So basically it covers this end of, of the park. So we'll wait and see what comes along and then we'll go for a ride ourselves. So if you have a look here, you can see there's like a, an inner, there's an inner bit of track and an outer bit of track. I believe you go around the inner one first. You kind of do a big loop around. So basically the train just follows it around. Can I hear a train coming or am I? There's gonna have to be a train coming soon. Let's just walk on a little bit. I'm sure we'll see a train go past before we get there. So the station is at the other end of the site. Um, we come from, and you can, if you want to come by car, you can park at this end of the site. There is a car park. So let's, um, let's see where, where we end up. I can clearly hear a train. So the railway, you can see there's two tracks here. They go right round there. And there's like a tree-like tunnel through the trees over there. So if we look, somewhere over there we should see a train emerge there we go class 20 funny because class 20s have been known to work on the met in preservation well here we have a miniature class 20 so what should happen is that class 20 will go around and coming along on the track closest to us so the track is the widest is seven and a quarter inch and you've got five inch and three and a half inch so um the class 20 i expect is seven and a quarter inch here another horn of another diesel so um, let's just watch the class 20 go by. Now the class 20 has gone by. We know they're running steam because we've heard some horns. So what's always exciting about miniature railways is you never quite know what you're going to find. Whether it's going to be steam, diesel electric um whether it's you know what locos you just don't know it's really a bit of a whatever turns up as like a heritage railway as nice as they are you tend to go to a heritage railway knowing what locomotive you're going to travel behind but miniature railways it's really yeah just wait and see what what you get when you get there so there's a complex bit of track there See the steaming bays. Oh, look at this! This looks exciting. There's a st an American steam loco. That's what I mean about the. What you don't, you just don't know what you're going to get. Look at this.
That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to go and have a ride behind that. Right, so the station's over there. Let's go and have a ride on the Roxbourne Park Miniature Railway.
Oh, I see, yeah. Well, I've had a great afternoon here at Roxbourne Park. I've um, really enjoyed having a few trips around the railway. The railway very kindly allowed me to go line side, so I was able to get some more shots of the trains there. I did also have a trip behind the Class 20. I'm just coming now. I'll just tell you about this because I think this is quite cool. This is a miniature narrow gauge loco. I know we've had confusing discussions in the past about what's miniature and what's narrow gauge. This is a narrow gauge loco on the World Time Railway, it's called Carnarvon Castle, and this is a miniature version of it. So the real loco is um, one foot 11 and a half inches, but this is scaled down to miniature scale, so it's just coming into the station now. And then when this train finishes its journey, it'll be the end of my visit, I'm gonna go home. As I said, I've had a great time, let's watch this look last. Another little steam loco, quite like that as well. So, yeah, I've had a great time here. Thank you very much to the Heron Wembley Model Engineering Society for um, being so friendly and allowing me to line side and allow me to visit. Um, I'm going to go home. So, if, you know, if you're out this way, do come and visit them. It's very easy to get to on the Metropolitan Line, Zuxbridge Branch, or the Piccadilly Line for that matter. Just get a train to Rainers Lane. And it's a very pleasant walk beside the Eddingbrook through Roxbourne Park to the Miniature Railway. Oh, look, here comes that Class 20. So we'll see you at Class 20 and then be the end of the video so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the Roxbourne Park Miniature Railway goodbye <laughs>